Welcome everyone. So today's video is about Ubuntu 18.04 uh, and unlike my previous video today I will be talking about uh, Ubuntu as my daily driver and so I've decided to go with this distro because uh, I did give others a try. Um, I gave Manjaro a try but um, for some re reason like I said like my Wi-Fi uh, it just it was giving me trouble just like the majority of distros uh, and even this like my Wi-Fi as you can see right now is at full signal uh, but in the beginning it was at like 20 30 percent even right next to the router um, but all I had to do was just put a, a couple of lines uh, in the terminal and uh, do some stuff and uh, now it works without a problem every time I start up the system it works as it should uh, but in Manjaro I tried the same fix I even tried looking for other fixes and I just could not fix it and so I gave up on that uh, and then I tried KDE Neon but I realized that it's uh, using uh, Ubuntu 16.04 as a base so you know I just decided to go with something that's uh, the latest version and uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the GNOME desktop environment and if we take a look at the system monitor you'll see that it's a, a resource hog and right now I don't know why but it's using less memory than uh, than most distros actually usually uh, if you've seen my previous videos the memory is at 1.8 gigabytes now it's at 1.6 uh, which is pretty interesting but I've disabled uh, most effects uh, and whatnot to kind of make it uh, a smoother experience but uh, but yeah so let's talk about Ubuntu and let's talk about uh, what you're looking at right here so this desktop or this background uh, if you're curious as to where I got it from it's from the official chaos uh, wallpapers so you can take a look at that or if you want I can send you a link to the official wallpapers um, and essentially I did it what I didn't know about the GNOME desktop environment is that you can install um, GNOME tweaks as an extension uh, and um, if I go to settings here I think uh, I forgot where it is exactly but essentially these are oh there we go uh, there are extensions um, and here are the extensions that I have gotten uh, for myself um, so instead of the full screen menu because I don't really like it for one and two it's not very lightweight it's it's kinda buggy uh, I decided to go with the arc menu which you have right here you have all your categories you can search for any program you want right here you have your file manager uh, probably your most used folders and then here at the bottom you have some really helpful stuff such as the terminal even though you can access it using control alt t uh, here are the tweaks themselves uh, the default system settings the software manager or software center uh, and then activities overview which if you press the windows button or well in my case the windows button because my laptop came um, with windows but the super button essentially you get this like a, a workspace uh, switcher which is pretty nice um, so so far I'm really liking that uh, then you got dash to panel you know I didn't really like how uh, there was like the top panel here uh, and I didn't like how the application menu was here um, you know it, it is the typical Ubuntu style uh, right but um, I'd pr rather just prefer a panel uh, whether it's on the bottom or the top with like a dock like plank or the latte dock or whatever um, doesn't matter I like that I prefer that so um, that's why I did that and the cool thing is is you can go to the settings of these and you can you know adjust the panel size um, and even adjust like the icon sizes and how close each icon is to one another uh, so you know you just 
we have a lot of settings here if you want to take a look um, I'm not going to go over all of them because that would just it would take a unnecessary time plus if you want I can make a video about that separately we'll see um, and also another thing I did is I really don't like how uh, when a program is or whatever is uh, full screen the panel becomes like gray so I didn't really like that so I just installed dynamic panel transparency which essentially uh, you know when it's uh, maximized you can change the opacity um, and you can actually even adjust these separately so when it's maximized right now this can be fully opaque um, or it can you can leave it at 40 percent or this for example you can leave it to be at a uh, zero percent like this and then as you can see it's at 40 percent now but I like to uh, leave it the same so take some time to get into effect most of the stuff uh, apply right away uh, so I really didn't know about these extensions and I really didn't know about the GNOME tweaks um, and had I known about it I would have you know paid a lot more attention to GNOME um, you know you can uh, hide the desktop icons and whatnot and then here's appearance so this is like you know this is something that I didn't really like about GNOME is you know you have your set in stone like theme and like style that they want you to use and you you don't really you can't really change much in the settings you know the settings doesn't really offer um, it doesn't really offer anything like that like you can change your background but that's about it you can change your dock but that's about it uh, so once I found out about these GNOME tweaks you know I thought to myself this is pretty nice you know um, so yeah so um, so you have your themes here I really like the the deepen themes which by the way you can also install the deepen desktop environment itself using Ubuntu which is something I really like um, but you have a a couple of themes here that look pretty nice you know this is the default um, also there's a couple of cursors cursor themes you know that are already pre-installed but um, you can of course install them yourself yourselves um, it's pretty let's see yeah it's fairly simple also the icons I have installed a decent amount of icons here some of them honestly probably appeared along with um, my deepen installation the desktop environment but I, I decided to, to showcase GNOME because I'm really impressed with it you know um, so yeah so you have your main themes here you can disable and en enable animations um, but it's it's a lot smoother when I disable them um, fonts extensions keyboard and mouse you can adjust that power startup applications windows you know you have all your settings here and as a whole I think it looks very nice you know um, very smooth experience and I really like the software center it just like the thing about it is that it just works and um, that's what I really like about it you know like if you want VLC you can find it or let's say you want the opera browser it may not be here you know something I guess less preferred uh, among users um, but the thing is is that it's really easy to install 
Um, and the thing that I really like about Ubuntu is that it has the most support out of any distro out there. Uh, and so that's, it's great because you can get on with your day. Um, if there's an issue, you can just fix it and just move on. You don't have to constantly try and searching for fixes, uh, wondering what the problem may be, wondering what's causing it, wondering just how to solve it. You know, and I just had those problems with Manjaro, and Manjaro, it's it's popular as well. You know, I can't say that it's not popular. Um, it's just that the problem with that is it just does, like doesn't support my Wi-Fi uh, driver at all, uh, and like I just have no idea how to fix it, and it was just too much of a, a pain and a hassle, and what's the point of using a laptop if it's just going to be connected to the ethernet cable right like that's the whole point of that uh, laptop is to move it around so um, but yeah but I, I've been really liking Ubuntu um, I like how I can install like a lot of programs without a problem so the repositories uh, aren't limited but also you know there are multiple ways um, to install programs, you know, through uh, Flatpak or uh, Snap, Snappack, is it called? Something like that, you know, but, um, or adding the PPA. Um, and there's just, you know, there's just multiple ways to, to download programs. Um, you can customize uh, the GNOME desktop environment in many ways, and there's also support. And honestly, if you don't like GNOME, you can just install a different flavor of Ubuntu which it offers a lot of um, a lot of different versions so yeah so yeah so that's as a whole about Ubuntu and yeah I think I'm probably gonna stick with Ubuntu I think that this is um, this is the distro I will be sticking with probably you know, uh, I don't know about the desktop environments, you know, sometimes I might want to try out KDE, so Kubuntu, um, or I might want to try XFCE, you know, like, but the thing is, is that, like, I will be probably using and sticking with Ubuntu um, from here on out because it just, it just works, <laughs> you know, it just works, and um, I'm still going to be trying out new distros uh, and I'm probably still going to update uh, how things are going with my daily driver um, but like in terms of a, like a daily driver I think that this distro is the best pick because like I said it just works and it has the support um, and yeah you know <laughs> I don't know so uh, that was pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching and yeah, have a good one.